installed on all the systems that belong to a particular data zone then we have a storage node a storage node essentially would contain both the client and the storage node role installed on it then we also have the master server the master server is the main network server and would have the client component installed on it as well as a storage node component installed on it now let's go to the next slides and look at the processes on each one of these uh, on each one of these systems with their respective role installed on it the first is the networker client process so the networker client process nsr execd also called networker save and recover execution daemon runs on the networker clients to support remote execution requests from the networker server the nsr exec d helps execute a backup command at the request of the networker server the nsr execd process also determines which rpc ports to use to support and request networker services by default the total or the complete network uh, port range used by networker by default 7937 to 9936 the next role that we have is the networker storage node the important daemons that are running that are running on a system where the networker storage node role is installed are the nsr snmd the nsr snmd or the network storage node management daemon or also called the network save and recover storage node management daemon provides the rpc based service that manages all device operations and the nsr mmd process on the storage node on behalf of the nsrd process the nsr sn md daemon is also responsible for ensuring that the device operations get performed when needed by the nsrd daemon so nsrd uh, is a daemon on the network server about which we will be looking at the next slide the next daemon here is the nsr mmd the nsr mmd which is also the uh, which is called the network save and recover media multiplexing daemon runs on the networker storage node to support reading and writing of data to devices the nsr mmd daemon writes the backup data sent by save to a volume in the backup device it is controlling it sends information to the network server to track data written to the volume and also helps in reading data from the volume during operations such as recovery and cloning there is one nsr mmd started for each device configured as a network resource the last daemon in the list here is the nsr lcpd the nsr lcpd is spawned by the nsr mmgd which is again a daemon that is running on the network server Uh, the nsr lcpd or the network save and recover library control daemon is used to control the actual jukebox resources such as media slot drives and access points after performing a task the nsr lcpd returns the status to the nsr mmgd which in turn returns the status to the nsr d daemon the last out of the basic roles in networker is the networker server process so now the network server has a number of processes running but the ones listed on the screen are the most important demons with respect to understanding the operations of network the nsrd process or the network save and recover daemon is the master daemon nsrd manages the network resource database which contains almost all network configuration information it also starts demons like nsr MMDBD and NSR IndexD. NSRD is started automatically at system startup, which is a default behavior. Once started, NSRD starts the other daemons and the NSR SNMD daemon on the storage node. NSR MMDBD, also called Network Save and Recover Media Management Database daemon, provides a read and write service for the media management. media database the index d also called the network save and recover index daemon provides the read and write service for the client file index database the next daemon the nsr job db 
or also called the network save and recover job daemon is responsible for coordinating all scheduled backups it stores information about these operations and provides it to the network server and the nmc server for reporting purposes the last important daemon in this list is the nsr mmgd the nsr mmgd also called the network save and recover media management daemon manages all library operations it is started on the network server by nsrd when the network services are started or when the first jukebox resource is configured and enabled so these were the basic demons along with the basic roles there is also an important role that is usually part of troubleshooting or daily use which is the network console server and there are a couple of processes of importance here as well out of which which are listed here the first daemon the httpd is the apache web service which in turn is responsible for providing web service for displaying the landing page when you try to access the network console server the next daemon here is the gstd also called the general service toolkit daemon which is the master console process and is responsible for the operation of your network console server after a console client has established communication with the console server all future communication is performed through gstd the next daemon here is the postgres this process manages the postgres generic service toolkit database or also called as the console server database and contains information concerning all backups recover and cloning operations this information is used by gstd to generate reports on your nmc so these were all the services that you need to be aware of in networker so let's quickly jump on the networker server to take a look at how to list these services on how to manage these services to if you are using a networker server which is on a uh, version rh red hat linux uh, 7 and above or centos 7 and above then you are on a system d um, uh, system and you will have to use the command system ctl to check the status or start any service on this system so now to check the service of networker demons you use the command system ctl status networker and you will see all the demons here this particular server is a networker server and thus it contains all the services or demons present for all the roles in network and is our executive for client the server role as well as the storage node roles to start or stop the service just replace the status with start and stop respectively if you are using a prior version of uh, linux red hat linux or centos uh, which is on a init d system then use the init.d scripts to start and stop the services the command being slash etc init dot d slash networker start to start the daemon networker stop to stop the daemon networker status to check the status of the daemon you can also check these uh, control the gst that is the networker console server daemons using the same command just replace networker with gst and here you will find the uh, gst daemon the apache daemon as as well as the postgres sql demons on windows server it is the same again you can use the task manager to look at it look at the demons so we can have a quick look at all the demons here everything that starts with nsr nsrd exec d index job d nsr mmdbd snmd and so on the uh, to start or stop a service you would have to go to the services console you have the so emc gst service for controlling your console uh, services of your network console server as well as the network remote exec service for your client uh, service that is nsr exec d and the network backup and recover server for controlling the services of the network server role so this is the end of this video thank you for holding on till